Brothers and sisters, speaking to you from a bit of a wilderness area. I'm just here in Wicklow Mountains in uh, in and around Dublin. Uh, for those of you in Ireland, you know where it is. Um, so I just thought I'd give my little um, meditation today from a different place. I have a show you. So I just celebrated mass at a mass rock. Uh, for a group of people, for the Knights of Columbus, well, the Knights of Columbanus. Anyway, in the first reading today, we, we hear about Pharaoh, and he's been coming up the last while, and we've been reading from the book of Exodus in the first readings from Mass. And uh, many of the church fathers see in the book of Exodus really the story of our own souls, you know. Um, in the book, literally, it's about the people of God, about God choosing the Israelites to be a nation, and freeing them from the oppression of slavery and oppression of human authority to to come under a new governance, a new thought, a new power, the power of God. Um, but of course, they, it's a struggle for them even in the desert. They be, when they forget even the wonders and the miracles the Lord did for them, they start to complain and moan. And that's a, <laughs> that's a bit similar to all of us probably. Uh, that, you know, that book of Exodus is really about the journey of the soul, for the soul journeying towards freedom from from oppression, which is sin. Pharaoh is a symbol of sin. And each one of us has a Pharaoh in our life, or maybe more than one Pharaoh. What's the addiction in your life? What's the Pharaoh in your life? What's the what's the the evil power that has a grip of you that is preventing you from fuller union from God, from from entering into the desert, that open wide expanse to be able to to adore and worship God. What's, what's preventing you? What's the one thing? And, you know, from time to time, we have to give ourselves thought to really just ask the Lord to show us these areas of our lives and our hearts. Sometimes it's very blatant. We can think right now, if I say, what's the thing that's holding you in prison in some part of your heart, you might know it. But there are things there that we need the Holy Spirit to reveal to us. Because we might not have self-knowledge, we might not have that deep understanding of whatever it is in our life that the Lord needs to heal and to free. In the gospel today, we see that Jesus, everybody that came to Jesus in today's gospel were healed, everyone. And you know, the Lord may not always physically heal us, sometimes we see spectacular healings, but he will always, always, always give us the most important of healing which is to know him, which is spiritual healing, which is conversion of heart. He will always give that. And sorry, just kind of walking through a bit of a thicket here. But that's most important. You know, you can have people who have all the health in the world, all the money in the world, and yet they're empty, that they, they crave peace, they crave joy, they crave stability, they crave uh, to be loved. Then you could have people who are suffering, going through so many trials, but they know they're loved by God. They know the Lord's presence in their life, and therefore they're full of peace. Nothing can buy that peace. So the Lord, those who come to the Lord, there's not one person who doesn't come to the Lord constantly, seeking Him in prayer with a sincere heart, who is not blessed by His grace and by His presence. And many times we have to do this. We have to set out again and again to search for Christ. And because we can... Pharaoh can enslave us again. Those parts of our life can bring us back into oppression. So the sacrament of confession is a huge weapon that we have against spiritual oppression, our sins, those areas of our lives that are under the territory of Satan. And it's in confession that that territory is transferred to the kingdom of light, to the Lord God himself. So brothers and sisters, we, we just take time today to ask the Lord, Holy Spirit, come show that part of my heart and my life that needs to be brought under the Lordship and Kingship of Christ. Show me, Lord, that part of the, my life that I need to bring to you for healing. And of course, Mary, the mother of Jesus, our blessed mother, will guide us, will help us find strength, will be with us. Ah, she, her heart will just open up all the great graces for us to receive that healing. And so, may the Lord bless you. And maybe you could enjoy some of that. May the Lord bless you now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.